Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's lovely to have you here. If you're new, then obviously a lovely big warm welcome for you. Thanks for you know tapping into my channel uh, for the first time. It's lovely to have you here. And if you're a returning viewer, then thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming back, having another reading with me, share me all your lovely support. Um, I really appreciate that, thank you. And today's reading we're going to be doing, aren't we? You know, what is your effect, uh, your impact? On your person today, you know, how are you impacting them, how are you impacting their thoughts, their feelings, um, and then what do they want to do about it? Um, so what are they going to do about that? And we've got three depictions here, three piles of the Lover's Card. So we've got the Lover's Card from the Mystical Moments uh, Tarot deck, there we go, and the beautiful Lapis Lazuli cube here, plus we've got the Lover's from the Lightseer's deck. There you go, and the orange calcite. And then we have the lovers from a deck that I don't often use. It's called the Supernatural Join the Hunt uh, Tarot deck. I think it's from a TV show, but I'm not sure. Um, but I don't use it that much, but I thought I'd use it today. And the Unakite Stone, okay? So there you go, those are your three piles. Go for the one that is calling to you. The one that seems to be the one that you want to go to the most. There might be more than one pile, because that sometimes happens. We can get different messages from different piles. And I will see you really, really soon in your reading. Bye for now. Hey, pile number one, welcome back to your reading. So today we're doing, aren't we? You know, what is your effect, your impact on your person right now? How are you impacting their thoughts, their feelings, you know, their energy? What is your impact today? Uh, or right now, and you came into the reading under the Mystical Moments Lovers card here. Beautiful card, actually. It's a really lovely depiction of the Lovers card. Um, and the Lapis Lazuli Cube. So I'm going to put that there so that we can see it in our reading. And I'm going to put uh, our Lovers card here. Now, I haven't pre shuffled any Oracle cards, as you can see. So let's get straight to that. I think what I'm doing, going to do first is just sort of you know, check out what, what impact you're having, what effect you're having on your person. And then we're going to do some cards on what they want to do about that, or what, they, you know, what they're hoping to do about that, or what they want to do about that. So let us begin. And I just want to remind you, as I always do, um, it is a general reading. So please, you know, just um, take the messages that fit, that feel right, that resonate, that speak to you. Um, because lots of people or a few people watch it, there might be messages that don't resonate with you particularly, but they might resonate with somebody else. But if the whole reading just feels completely off, and that sometimes happens, then go to another pile if you feel drawn to another pile or another reading. And I've got tons of those as well as playlists on my channel. So there you go. So I'm going to first of all just ask... Um, you know, what is, uh, I hope you're all doing good, I hope everyone is well, um, I don't know what you're, where it is where you are, but I am sitting in my dining room and it's a very rainy, grey day outside, so let's hope we can have some positive energy here today, I'm sure we will, but anyway, let's ask, what is part number one's you know, impact, what is their effect on their person today, what is their impact? What is their effect on their person today? How are they impacting them? How are they affecting their thoughts, their feelings? What is their impact on their person today, please? Now, I'm struggling. Oh, that one's made itself. No, okay. Let's have a look at this one. Trust. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see if we can get something else out there before we say anything else. What is the other? Let's have one of these ones. What is part number one's? effect or impact on their person today what effect or impact are they having on their person today now we have aquarius now aquarius might mean something to you you don't have to be an aquarian but you might be or they might be i mean aquarius is part of the air suit so the air suit of aquarius libra or gemini might mean something but aquarius uh, being part of the air suit makes me think of communication Aquarius as a sign is usually quite a quirky original sign. Um, and we also have the word trust here. So my sense is that they are, the impact, you're, you're certainly making them think, I think with the Aquarius here, you're making them think. You might be somebody that they see as a little bit outside of the box or somebody who's quite original 
in the way that they think or the way that they present themselves. Um, I feel like with all this heat here, you might be having, because um, that's kind of around the solar plexus and the sacral chakra, so you might be having an impact on their, you know, how attracted they are to you. So certainly in terms of all this fire, there might be a strong attraction or heat where you are concerned. Um, but I think that if they think you're somebody who they can have a good conversation with, that they maybe mentally match with, with the trust here, it might be that they are, uh, you know, the effect you're having on them is to for them to be more trusting of you, or trust might be an issue for them in this connection. So it could be that they're wanting to trust you more, or there's a trust issue in it, or they're wanting the connection to grow and be more open and honest, maybe. But let us see. And you are doing that to them. You are having that impact on them. The two of you might be from quite different worlds here uh, with this particular depiction of the lover's card. Um, yeah, but anyway, let's uh, let's get some more. Let's get another one. Let's go with this one. So what is the current, you know, what's the impact or effect? Um, so you're, you're maybe you're, you're getting them to think about trust in one form or another. So do they trust you? Don't they trust you? Trust might be an issue. So you might be a catalyst for them to consider trust issues, how they are in relationships, whether they can trust someone, uh, whether the person they are with is trustworthy, whether they can be trusted. You're getting them to think about that. That is your impact, your catalyst. And there's a deep fire for you. There's an attraction. Um, a because the set sacral energy um, governs, you know, sexuality or set, um, you know, sex drive, I suppose, and also creativity. And also, it's in, within the solar plexus, which is confidence. So you might be really impacting their confidence at the moment, in one way or another. Um, their sense of self. So let's ask, what is Oh, a number one's person, current effect or impact. You know, you're lighting them up. I feel like there's a, you know, there's this light coming from here as well at the top. So I feel like you are um, having a strong impact on them. You are making them think. You're really making them think. But you're also touching their, their, um, there's a kind of like a, a, a real strong drive, I think. A strong physical drive towards you. Okay, so what is their impact? What is kind of one's impact on their person right now? There might be trust issues in the situation. What is their impact on their person right now, please? What is their impact? What is their effect? What do we have? Maze. All right, even if you feel lost, there's always a way through the maze. So, yeah, this situation might be confusing for them. There might be around trust issues. Um, yeah, they're having to really think very hard uh, about the situation. But nevertheless, there's a strong pull towards you, a strong attraction here. So, because this is also as a sense of hope, doesn't it? Even if you feel lost. So the situation might be lost. It might be um, confusing at the moment. It might be difficult to find, you know, it might, might be difficult to find your way within the connection. Um, but they, they're hopeful, so they're still hopeful of the situation. But anyway, let us get out some tarot. So what is pile number one's impact? I feel like these two are going to come out. Um, oh, and three. So we've got Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles. What is pile number one's impact or effect on their person today. Now these all seem to want, if all of them have come out together. <laughs> so it might be that they want to, with the Aquarius, they might be that they really want to communicate with you a lot. So we've got the devil, oh, okay. I think they're thinking about you a lot. Your impact is that you might, they might be obsessing over you. They might be really lusting after you, with all this fire here. Because the devil is a card of wants, you know, of wanting what you want, really. Um, uh, you know, and thinking about it a lot and going for it a lot and, um, you know, obsessing over it quite a lot. So I feel like you might be, the impact on is you might be a huge temptation for them. They may be really lusting after you. They may be really thinking a lot about you. They may think that you are, 
yeah, with the trust issue, maybe it's it has an impact on trust in whatever situation they're in, whether they're in it with you or somebody else. Maybe you're a huge temptation for them, um, and it, it's going to have some impact on trust with either with you or somebody else or something like that. And with the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups, I mean, obviously they look at this card, Knight of Cups, you know, with coming forwards with this beautiful uh, cup of love and all these hearts, and then the Ace of Cups is a, like a new beginning in love. So. This person, the impact you're having on them is that they feel very loving. Uh, they have a lot of love towards you, that you ignite a lot of love within them. Um, the star, um, they, you know, you are standing out to them. Your impact is that you are standing out, that you stand uh, bright, really, that you shine bright. It comes out of this fire here. So I feel like you are really, they're really noticing you. Um, you're also, I think you're also giving them hope in some way. Maybe you're giving them hope. Maybe you're um, a light somehow. I get this kind of idea that you're a little bit of a light to them. Now, it could be with the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords here that um, the situation has come into separation or there's some pain in the situation because there is also inevitably with them the impact you're having on them is like, I feel like it's sort of like pleasure and pain, if you know what I mean. Because the pain in the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords is quite you know, evident here. So I feel like your impact is to provide both pleasure and pain. Uh, and that might be why you have the maze here, because it might be quite confusing for them. The, the impact that you have on them might be quite confusing. You might be somebody that they're not with, that you're just a massive temptation. And maybe they're with somebody else, maybe you're with somebody else. Um, and it's just fa fantastic to think about you and wonderful to think about you and have all these loving thoughts about you. But at the same time, it's also very painful and difficult because maybe it's a massive temptation and maybe they feel that they can't really have you or the, the situation doesn't allow them to have you or something like that. But you really stand out to them. So the impact is, with the star being central here, is that you stand out. You may be somebody that they look at quite a lot. You might be quite popular. Um... It may be a work connection here with the Eight of Pentacles. Um, and it could be that at work, maybe you stand out, maybe you're a temptation to them, something like that. This could be a crush sort of situation. Um, or it could be that it's just come into separation. This situation has come into separation and there's, that's causing this person a lot of pain, um, a lot of uh, heartache. And they're thinking obsessively still about you in that separation. Um, and they're wanting to tempt you, tempt you back in maybe. Uh, to the connection but they definitely you know you're having a lot of the impact you're having is to create this feeling of love of romance of wanting to have a romantic beginning with you and maybe they, they're also thinking how can I you know how can I make that happen you know what can I do because uh, the eight of pentacles is a card of mastery what can I do to make it happen um, so you're making them want to try and work on the situation want to try and work on being with you to have the situation recognised, maybe for healing as well. So the impact you're having is making them want to, to, to find ways to heal the connection if it's come into separation. But it's also um, a lot of pain. But with the Ten of Swords, interestingly, the Ten of Swords is always a horizon in the Ten of Swords. So with somebody, this person lying flat on their back with the Ten of Swords, there's always that possibility, that hope that they're going to rise up. And because this person looks like they're just about to reach for that, broomstick you know her broomstick that's going to get her out of this situation so um i feel like there's maybe they're thinking or the impact you're having or the effect you're having is to think that there's still hope because it comes right next to the star card that there's still hope in this situation if it's coming to separation or if you're not together there's hope for this connection but nevertheless it is stressful and maybe again they've maybe tried lots of ways to connect with you or to get to you or they've they're trying to come up with lots of ways in which they can communicate with Aquarius, can communicate with you, can connect with you, um, something like that. You make them want to do that, but it is stressful for them. 100% it is stressful for them. Um, what else have we got with the Devil card? Now, the Devil card can also be... Um, it might be in a negative place at the moment, the connection. It might be in a difficult place, in a toxic place. Um, there may have been toxicity in the situation. There may be toxicity in the situation. 
because the devil is the overarching energy and it does represent uh, toxicity or chaining yourself to things that are going to limit you or you know the baser side of life really being being a uh, being in enthralled to the baser things in life you know sex money drugs alcohol that kind of thing so there might be some mm, toxic behaviors or limiting behaviors that are going on at the moment or have gone on in this connection um yeah something like that okay and this person might be, as well as thinking obsessively about you, they may also be thinking, have very negative thoughts about the connection as well. So that's what I mean, it might be a bit of a feast or famine. Your impact might be a bit of a feast or famine. So either they're really, really into the situation or they have a lot of doubts about the situation. It's kind of like, hasn't it? has a bit of a roller coaster edge to it, if you know what I mean. And that's why you've got the maze, because it's no, there's, that leads to lack of clarity, confusion, not being able to see a clear way forward, um, you know, maybe because of limiting behaviours or beliefs that are preventing them from being able to see a clear way forward. So maybe your impact is, is a bit confusing for them, is to create confusion for them amongst all these feelings of love and um, and connection and, and, and hope. There's also a lot of confusion for them. So you certainly have an, a roller coaster impact on them, pile number one, without a doubt. So um, obviously the devil is Capricorn. We have got both, uh, we've got Gemini energy here. And obviously the lovers is Gemini. Um, we've got Aquarius again. So Aquarius might mean something to some of you because uh, that's come up twice and so is Gemini. So a lot of air here. So I feel like a lot of wanting to communicate, connect uh, in that way. We've got um, Virgo energy and obviously we've got all of the water signs of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, so that's kind of how the impact you're having them, which is like a little bit like this, like a roller coaster ride, really. Um, now let's get out another um, let's get out a message card. What effect or impact is pile number um, one? today having on their person what effect what impact are they having on their person today please how are they impacting how are they affecting their person today please just make it clear to me love my goodness unconditional love self-love and wholeness affection and attraction selflessness whoa so there is love as i said before the, the ace of cups and the knight of cups there is love if you are making them feel like there there's a lot of love for you for sure but anyway let's see what you know what do they want to do about it what are they going to do about it or what do they want to do about it what do they hope to do about it let's get out one of these cards what do they hope to do about it what do they want to do about it what do they hope to do about it what do they want to do about it improvise okay so improvise all right interesting improvise Okay, let's have this one. What are these? What do they want to do about it? What do they hope to do about it? What do they want to do about this? What do they hope to do about it? Pure nature, seven. I'm going to put that one up there. Pure nature, seven. Okay. I mean, Rose, this girl is covered in this beautiful red rose which is obviously the symbol of you know the ultimate symbol of love isn't it really and it's coming up here with love improvise um okay let me get me some let me get some tarot out before i say anything right okay so what do they want to do about it what do they want to now do what do they hope to do in this situation with pile number one, what are they hoping to do? What do they want to do? Justice, make things, mm, make things clear, make things balanced. That's what they're hoping to do. I mean, it's all this confusion. They want to have a balance here. Pure nature makes again makes me think of purity, of clearing out maybe toxicity, of getting rid of. Um, negativity if you know what i mean um you know it's something very wholesome isn't there about obviously about nature and purity and um something like that and with the justice card that means weighing things up balancing things out doing the right thing what do they want to do what do they hope to do about it 
what they want to do or hope to do in this situation. The Six of Swords. What do they hope to do? What do they want to do in this situation? We have Judgment, yeah. What do they hope to do? What do they want to do? We have the King of Wands. What do they hope to do? Say about being seen by you. They want to be seen by you. What do they hope to do? What do they want to do? Oh, we have two of pentacles. Oh, and there's another one underneath there. Let's have a look and see what that is. The queen of pentacles, okay. Mm, and underneath we have the knight of pentacles. Right, okay. So I think they're, they're, what they want to do is to make the situation more stable and solid. Because mm, all of this makes me feel that it's kind of a bit in, unstable with the devil card. It's not secure. It's... Um, it could have been a or it could be a situation at the moment that's not very secure. That's maybe a situation where you're both just getting what you want, and it's not really like on a kind of physical level or on a, a baser level. But maybe there's a lack of commitment. So I feel like that what they want to do is balance things out with the Justice card. The Six of Swords is about moving on to calmer waters, slowly moving into something calmer. And because you've got the Judgment and Justice. My goodness, so I mean that is about really making things, leveling things up, making things better, making things much better in a slow way. So maybe they they want to uh, move it out of difficulty, which would probably be where it is at the minute with the devil of the, of the overarching energy or toxicity or negativity or limit, limiting behaviours or beliefs or whatever, the whole thing is limiting and move it into something much more stable and of a more, um, of a better quality, is what I want to say. The King of Wands is about, you know, I want to be recognised by you, but I still, you know, I'm still, um, it still might be, and that might be why I've got the improvise, it still might be tricky with the improvise here, so I still might have to think on my feet in this situation, there still might be things for us to weigh up, there still might be choices that I need to make. Um, I still might have to just, um, you know, just kind of improvise in some way. Uh, but the Queen of Pentacles afterwards tells me, and the Knight of Pentacles, is that slowly, because you've got two cards here moving, of doing things slowly, um, I want to bring things back into stability. And maybe even commit and settle down here, because we've got the Justice card, which is all about doing the right thing. Um, and also signing contracts and making things official along with the judgment card. So my sense is that this person also, that they have a huge amount of passion for you. That, that again, with this fire here and here, that passion, that ardour, that chemistry burns burns for them. They've got a lot of, you know, this person looks very, very, very zealous, don't they? There's a lot of zeal to this person. So I feel like they, are, they have a lot of passion and desire for you. Um, that is kind of burning them if they're not with you uh, in whatever capacity, either because they're separate from separated from you or because it's like a crush situation. But they definitely want to, if it's a crush situation, they want to make it official, they want to make it balanced. They're very attracted to you, very attracted to you here. Um, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of feeling for you and a lot of physical attraction to you. But it's something that you think, there's a juggling act required, I think. They kind of, know that there's a little bit of a juggling act that might be required to bring this situation into a stable situation, into a secure situation. Or there might be two things that they're having to juggle, two things that they're having to juggle um, that might cause issues or problems, but they want to overcome that and have stability with you. And the Knight of Pentacles tells me that they want to do that slowly. It's a slow thing for them. And that is what they want to do. Okay, so let us see. So in terms of, I mean, obviously Justice is Libra. Six of Swords is Aquarius. Um, King of Wands could be any of the fire signs, really, of Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Two of Pentacles is um, Capricorn. Queen of Pentacles is usually Taurus. And Knight of Pentacles could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Okay, so let us see uh, if we've got some charms. Now, what do they want to... What do they hope to do? What do they want to do with this? They hope to do what they want to do in this connection. We've got what we've got. Now, again, we've got the little um, 
Eiffel Tower that came out in a few readings ago. So again, Paris, France, love. Of course, it's you know Paris is the ultimate city of love. As I said before, it is a very romantic city. I mean, you did have the word love there. It might mean something to you as well, Paris, France, French. Uh, we have to turtle. Of course, turtles move slowly. Turtles, tortoises, they move sort of fairly slowly, or they have that kind of feel of being quite slow, don't they? So I'm going to put that on the Knight of Pentacles, because I feel this person wants to move slowly. And also we've got um, a little dinosaur here, and that makes me feel always it's like, you know, it represents time. You know, dinosaurs go back millions of years, they're obviously now extinct. But there's a feeling that you and them over time have uh, maybe built up something or there's a long-standing connection for you or there's potential for a long-standing connection. Or they may even feel that you and them go back with the lover's card being a soulmate card, you know, back through lifetimes, past lives, that kind of thing. But anyway, let's have some cards here. So what do we have here for pile number one on their impact, their effect and what the person wants to do about that? So we have opportunity, okay, so they may see you or, you know, as a massive opportunity for them. Improving health, okay, so it's well, certainly with a devil card, you know, when we're ruled by those kind of basic instincts, it can often have an impact on our health. So maybe this person is thinking, you know, I want it, in, you know, I want this to be a healthier, more balanced connection. And then we have the situation will improve. I mean, what could we, that's, that's exactly it. <laughs> That's what they're saying, you know, they want the situation to improve, or the situation will improve as far as they're concerned. They're hopeful that it's going to improve. But anyway, pile number one, that's been your reading. I hope you've liked it. If you have, please do some consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Um, give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment. Everything, I love it all. So please do it. But otherwise, take care, have a good day, and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye for now. Hey, pile number two, welcome, welcome back to the reading. I hope you're all happy and healthy and well. And it's lovely for you to come in and have another pick a card reading with me today. So we're doing, aren't we? Uh, what is your impact, your effect on your person today? You know, how are you affecting their thoughts, their feelings, you know, their energy? And then what do they want to do about that? What are they, what are they, what are they hoping to do about that? So you came into the reading under this depiction of the lovers, which is the Light Seers Tarot deck. I love this lover's card, actually. It's probably one of my favourites. Um, and it's just so passionate, isn't it? Um, and also the uh, orange calcite here. So let's put that here so we can see it. I haven't shoveled any oracle cards today, so I'm going to do that now on camera. I just want to remind you all, you know, it's a general reading. Just take the messages that fit. If they don't fit, then they're not for you. They're for somebody else uh, who might be watching the reading. Um, and also, if the whole thing is off, I hope it isn't, but if it, if it is, then pick another pile, pick another reading. I've got absolutely tons of readings on my channel and playlists, organised into playlists. So, you know, you're welcome to take uh, and have a look at one of those, especially around, um, I think I'm sure I've done um, a couple of other readings on, you know, what your impact is, what your effect is. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at what your impact and effect is on your person today. Uh, you know, how you're impacting their feelings, their thoughts, their energy. And then we're going to look at what they want to do about that or what they hope to do with that. Uh, so let's first of all get some more oracle cards. Let me get one of these cards. Okay, so I'm going to ask, what is, you know, pile number two's um, impact uh, on their person today? What is their impact on their, their effect, on their thoughts, their feelings? How are they making them think and feel? What's their impact? What's their effect, please? Uh, let's have a look at that. Please make it clear to me. I feel like I've got that one, so I'm going to go for it. Let's see. So we have protection. Okay, so card number nine, protection. Right, let's get another one out before we say anything else. What is their effect? What is card number two's effect or impact on their person? How are they making their person think, feel? How they connect it, how they're affecting their energy. What is their impact, please? Let's see what this one is. So we have um, fire. Oh gosh. Fire. So any of the fire signs of Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo might mean something to some of you. Um, 
It doesn't have to, but it might mean that this, this situation might be going through some challenges because when I saw the, on, the onion, what I immediately thought about, obviously, you know, when you cut an onion, you cry, don't you? So I, I immediately thought there might be some bitterness in the connection or some tears, some, some, something going on in the connection that's causing bitterness or tears or upset, um, something like that. Somebody, there might be some sadness in the connection. But with a fire here, maybe there was also a lot of attraction in the connection as well, though, a lot of attraction. Maybe with a fire, maybe there's some burn in it. Um, you know, something that's burning in the connection at the moment. There's a lot of that kind of feel in this. A lot of desire. There might be a lot of desire in the connection. Um, but also tinged with some sadness or with something that maybe um, can burn or can harm or um, can cause some sadness as well. Because this is nine. Well, nines are all about, um, you know, nine is all about kind of endings of a cycle completions, new beginnings, and this is also 23, which is five, and five is about challenge and change. So it might be going through an ending, or it might have gone through an ending, there might be some challenge, some change in it, but nevertheless, there is a lot of desire still in it, a lot of attraction, uh, a lot of chemistry, but, but it also has the potential maybe to burn or to cause harm or suffering or something like that, or maybe there's been some tears. So it's a bit of a double-edged sword, this one. Uh, that's kind of what I'm feeling, possibly. Uh, at the moment or the impact that you're having maybe on them is to create again this sort of feeling of um, pain or sadness but also a strong attraction and chemistry and desire sort of thing yeah so let's see what else we have what is the impact uh, or the effects that power number two is having on their I think you're definitely attracting them there's definitely a lot of chemistry there's definitely a lot of fire, but there's also maybe something, and that might be why you've got protection. Maybe they feel they've got to protect themselves, or they feel like they've got to um, yeah, protect themselves from the connection, um, or there's a need for the protection because it could sting, or it could burn, or it could cause sadness. Maybe it has already for them and for you. What is your impact or effect on pile number twos? Um, pile number, on their person. What is pile number two's impact or effects on their person today, please? Enlightenment. So maybe this situation is causing them to question themselves, causing them to gain more wisdom. You know, often if we go through difficult situations or if we go through challenges, it's also an opportunity to learn and to grow. So it says with enlightenment, there is no separation. We realise that we are one with the divine. So maybe this situation is causing them to shift you're in a catalyst for them to grow to learn to um, develop themselves in some way or they see you as that and it could have come in the hard way you know there could have been some difficult experiences in this situation that's causing them now to gain a better understanding of themselves grow um, so in that way you are having a very positive impact on them even though it might be quite tricky or it might feel quite painful the positive impact is that it's a, a, a chance for the soul, you know, the soul to grow really, and develop. You know, lessons are being, you know, there's an opportunity for lessons to be learned really. So in that way, they might be seeing you as a soulmate, or some kind of significant, very significant other, which would, you know, is what the lovers is really, a significant other, a soulmate, a twin flame type energy. But let's get out some tarot now. So what impact or effect is power number two you know, having on their person today? What impact or effect are they having on their person today? How are they affecting their person's thoughts, feelings, energy? Let's have a look. So we have the six of wands. We have the knight of swords. Oh, is it? Oh, what is that? What are these? We've got um, the queen of cups. The Seven of Cups, the Ace of Wands, okay, so one more, how are they impacting or affecting their person today? And we have the Eight of Cups, all right, okay, and the overarching energy is the King of Swords. So this person, I think you're having a bit like what I was saying actually before, 
is um, it's quite similar to pile number one really. I think that they are having lots of um, uh, kind of opposite feelings where you're concerned. It's a bit like what I was saying here. So with the Queen of Cups, they 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 you you definitely have a feeling they've got feelings of love for you. You make them feel. Um, you know, like there's a lot of love in the connection. You make, I think you make them feel loved. Um, there's a lot of nurture as well in the connection. They feel nurtured, they feel cared for by you. Um, and the Six of Wands is that you, you know, within that, the connection feels positive. It feels, uh, you know, like they feel like you recognize them, you acknowledge them. But equally, uh, there's this feeling of uh, not being sure really with the seven of cups and the eight of cups so the impact you're having on them is to make them feel that they are loved that they are cared for that this situation is a good situation but also for them to not be certain within themselves whether they um whether they want to stay in the connection with the eight of cups and the seven of cups is also whether this person might be quite um that might be why they've got the Enlightenment card here, because they might not have been that enlightened in the connection, or they might not be that wise. Um, because this is kind of like wishy-washy energy, really, here. Somebody who can't make their mind up. So maybe this person is, um, you know, often kind of not sure, maybe giving mixed messages, going backwards and forwards with you. One minute they want to be with you, and the next minute they don't want to be with you. It could be a cyclical situation where sometimes it comes apart and then it starts again with the Ace of Wands. Um, and what's needed is the King of Swords, which is clarity, which is truth. And maybe this person is realising the impact you're having on them if you're in separation from them or it's going through a tough time or it's a cyclical connection when you keep going backwards and forwards. This person, your, your impact is to make them realise that they need to step up their game a little bit here that they need to um, become more enlightened, become more wise, become more honest, become more truthful. Uh, and so your impact is that they, you know, they can't really um, mess you around, really. You're not somebody that they can mess around. And maybe with the Queen of Cups, you're not somebody that they want to mess around if they have done that in the past. My sense is that they, your impact is, or your effect, is that they have to be honest. They have to be truthful. They have to get... Um, you know, be more balanced, less wishy-washy. Knight of Swords is somebody, again, who is clear, goes for what they want, is very, you know, has clear direction. Um, and maybe they haven't been like that in the past. Uh, that could be one way of reading it. But they definitely, I think they definitely, you, they definitely feel, have felt loved by you. They have definitely felt recognised by you. Um, but maybe they haven't appreciated it in the past and maybe their realization now is or your impact the catalyst of being in a relationship with you is that they need to be clearer and be more honest um going forwards really and that might be why you got protection because maybe you yourself needs protection need to protect yourself um against their energy because although they um have all these they they know you care for them i, I can't help feeling this person might be a bit uh unclear in their actions or mixing mixed in their messages or um yeah you know walking away and then wanting to start up again that kind of thing really so they haven't been balanced um but you are, are, are caring and loving and they can see that really that is your impact but um they're not so clear in themselves really and what they're what they're realizing i think is that they need to you know, for this connection to move forward in a positive way, they need to be, they need to step up, they need to be better. Um, and I think the relationship with you has helped them to realise um, that they need to step up their game, that they need to be, um, yeah, that they need to be more enlightened, they need to be wiser, they need to offer more, they need to be um, wiser, really, with the King of Swords, they need to be wiser. Um, so you you are because you are the queen of cups you know you have that wisdom you have that intuition you have that feeling you have that care uh, I think you're probably a lot more mature than this person is and they might be striving for that and their experiences with you has led them to realize that they are lacking in some way 
yeah, yeah lacking in this relationship and lacking in relationships because they're too wishy-washy, they're not focused enough, they're not committed enough, they're not um, mature enough, maybe. So in terms of, so you've, you've, I think what you do is you, you are an opportunity for them for growth and development, um, soul growth and development, really. Uh, that's your impact. You're a teacher. I think, you know, you are a teacher for them. So um, what we have here is um, all of the uh, air signs of Libra, Aquarius, Gemini and all of the water signs of Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. Um, we also have all of the fire signs, my goodness, of Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. So the only thing we don't have really is any of the earth signs. And I think that's because this person isn't maybe very grounded really there's the, there's a the lack of grounding to them uh that's kind of what i would say here so um yeah so anyway let's see you know what do they in this kind of wishy-washy energy this lack of clarity this also this potential for growth what do they want to do about you and them what do they you know what are they hoping to do what do they want to do let's get out one of um these cards so what are they hoping to do what do they want to do um Going forwards, what do they want to do? What do they hope to do with pile number two, please? What do they want to do? What do they hope to do? Collaborate. Okay, so that's clear. So they want to work with you. Uh, what else have we got? What do they want to do? What do they hope to do? What do they want to do? What do they hope to do, please? Actually, no, not that one. I want to need. Um, what do they want to do? What do they hope to do with power number two, please? What do they want to do? What do they hope to do? To the moon and back, 51. Mm, so 51 comes to six. And 38 is 11, which is two. Okay. To the moon and back. All right, let's get some tarot out before we say anything. So what's to... They hope to do what do they want to do what do they hope to do what do they want to do these three i think i can see these three here i'm going to take out one two three what do they hope to do what do they want to do please five and then one more what do they hope to do what do they want to do Six. Okay, I'm going to move this over here so you can see it. And then we'll see what's at the bottom of the deck, which is the Queen of Pentacles. Let's have a look. So we've got the Queen of Cups, the High Priestess, the Queen of Wands, the Page of Swords. My goodness, there's a lot of people here in this situation. The King of Pentacles. God, these are all court cards, more or less. Apart from the High Priestess and the Wheel of Fortune, this person, mm, I feel like this person is um, if I'm honest, I feel like this person is not someone um, I feel like they've got a lot of secrets with the High Priestess. So they are not somebody that wants to share. Um, they're, they're not somebody that you can get to know on a deep level. That's kind of what I'm feeling. This person keeps things to themselves. They like things kept to themselves. Um, and they like to, with the Collaborate card here, keep their fingers in a lot of pies. Let's put it that way. That's why you've got the Seven of Cups. So I feel like with this situation is they want to keep it um, cyclical or they want to keep it um, unstable because the, that's the wheel of fortune. It goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes, goes down. So if you've been with this, if this person is somebody that you, and I think I touched on it here, where one minute they want to stay with you, it might be something where you come and you go uh, and it's been lacking in commitment. And I think this person, if I'm honest, wants to keep it like that. Then that's why you've got all these people here. Because this, this, I feel that this person likes to 
be uh, sociable. They like to have a lot of different connections. They like to keep things to themselves. They don't like to get too close with anyone. They um, because it was because when I got this card, it came the upside down way initially. Right? I don't normally do reverse cards, but certainly not in um, in uh, oracle cards. But I noticed it with this one, and, and also when it says to the moon and back, I kind of get that that phrase, you know, I love you to the moon and back, but because it was that way round, it made me question it. And I just feel like for this particular person, that they do feel a lot of desire for you, and there is a lot of attraction, but there is the potential for this situation to burn and to be harmful, and that is why you've got the protection. Because I think this person in sort of lacks enlightenment, if I'm honest, and that's probably why you've got the king, king of swords here. They know that if they are to come with you, if they are to be with you, they need to step up their game. And I don't feel that they want to do that or they can do that, actually. That's my honest opinion. because And they and it suits them to keep this situation um, unstable or, yeah, not um, sort of always moving, never steady. So never something that you can um, rely upon. Now, they might be giving off the impression... But they do want to give stability, particularly if you're in separation from them and they want to start a new cycle. With the Queen of Pentacles, they might give the impression that they want to provide stability with the King of Pentacles here. That you and them are soulmate energy, that you are twin flame energy, that you belong together or whatever. But I don't feel that that will last because you've got the Wheel of Fortune. So it may be that they feel they've got to say that to get you back, that they've got to show wisdom, that they've got to be honest, that they've got to be truthful, or they've got to present like that um but i just feel that this person with the king of queen of cups the queen of wands is keep is is not able to sustain or maintain commitment and honesty if i'm honest with the high priestess here they they want to keep things hidden and secret so you're um with the page of swords here your message is to to be discerning with this person um to maybe keep them uh, to to be curious with the page of swords to ask them lots of questions and to be curious about uh, what they're what they're up to who they're connected to what's going on in their life before you get in too close with them because um, I just feel like this person might present as wanting to be stable and solid but I don't think that they are able to do that. Because they're, they're with the Three of Cups, it's, this is reminding me of the Three of Cups, which is a third element or something else getting in the way of connection. And I feel like with this person, um, that when, that's why you've got the Seven of Cups. They are, you know, they've got two, they've, they've got their fingers in a lot of pies. And if if you want a committed situation with them, I, I don't feel, although this person might be telling you that they can do that, I don't, or presenting it as if they can do that, particularly if you're going back in with them, and you've separated and you're going back in with them. Um, my sense is I'm not sure that they um, will be able to do that. Whereas I think you are very loving and open and caring and nurturing. But they're much more closed off. And that's also the King of Swords, a little bit more closed off in their hearts. Even though they, you know, um, they're sort of saying that they want honour and truthfulness and all the rest of it. I just think with the High Priestess here, there's things that they're not telling you. There's a, certain secrets and it might be around other people or other things interfering in the connection um that they're not being open and honest about um and that is why you've got the page of swords you need to be curious you need to ask all the questions to make sure that if you do get back with them that there aren't all these other things on on, on the side really that are going on and that could be what's happening now if you're perfectly all right with that then that's that's okay that's a different story but if you want commitment with the wheel of fortune ending the reading i just don't feel that this person is going to be able to give you that and it suits them for the situation to go backwards and forwards backwards and forwards and be in a motion of one minute up one minute down because then it gives them the potential and the opportunity to explore other things and that is just me being honest in how I see this reading if it doesn't resonate with you or it doesn't resonate with your situation then you might want to listen to a part but I've got to say what I see really uh, so in terms of so there so what they want to do with it is to keep it um, in a state of imbalance in a state of backwards and forwards in a state of flux in a state of one minute together one minute we're not uh, so that I can then 
um, you know, collaborate with other people or connect with other people or, you know, but I, but I know that I can't present it like that, pile number two, because I'm obviously not going to have that. So I have to present it as if I'm stable and solid and I want honesty and truthfulness and integrity. And I think the protection card is here to say to you, and that's why you've got fire, because it could burn this situation, is to say to you, use your discernment with this person and um, understand that they are would find stability, um, really real stability, um, not just what they're presenting, real stability as a challenge, a huge challenge. So um, that's kind of all I'm going to say there, pile number two. So in terms of um, astrological signs, obviously we've got all of the fire, um, earth signs of um, Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo, and we've got all of the uh, water signs of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, all of the fire signs of Aries, Sagittarius and Leo. I think I've covered everything there, haven't I? Yeah, okay, so let's see what we've got um but there definitely is i mean it's not that they're not attracted to you there's a huge attraction to them and they know that you love them i think that's the thing they know that you love them they know that you're a caring beautiful soul actually i think actually if i'm honest pile number two my sense is that you might be too you know not too good for this person i don't mean that they're just on a different um what can I, how can i say it i just feel like they're not as evolved as you if i'm honest they're not as um uh in touch with their inner world maybe as you are or they're not as sensitive as you are uh, and there might be that they're a little bit out for themselves really uh, and oh, that's why I'm saying use your discernment because you you've got a lot of loving energy and their energy is a bit more um, governed by by you know sort of you know what they can get out of the situation or you know, fun. I think this person likes a lot of fun. They like to connect with a lot of people. Um, and sometimes in those situations, you know, people can get hurt, can't they? Um, particularly if they're presenting as somebody who isn't like that. And this person might be doing that this time around. But anyway, let us get out some charms. So, okay, and what impact or effect is pile number two having on their person? What impact or effect? We've got here, yeah. So the moon again is a card, uh, a symbol of secrecy of things underneath the surface. So this person might be feeling like they've got to keep things from you, keep things secret, keep things hidden, not be honest completely. And then we've got the octopus. Well, the octopus is, um, uh, you know, lacking in boundaries essentially. So I feel like this person it doesn't have a lot of boundaries. I'm going to put that on the seven of, of, of cups. There's not a huge amount of boundaries there. Um, yeah, so your impact might be that they feel maybe, and this has got nothing to do with you, part number two, but maybe they feel um, that they can't commit or be what they see as hemmed in. So it makes them want to spread out with all these legs here, spread out with all these people a lot more because maybe they're being triggered. And it wouldn't just it would be it wouldn't just be with you it'd be with anyone who's wanting commitment or wanting something a bit more serious would trigger them into thinking oh my god I can't deal with that um, let me go off and you know um, uh, explore lots of other issues because it's like a knee jerk reaction to um, to commitment it shows a lack of maturity and I feel like this person just isn't as enlightened as you, as you are maybe but anyway let's get uh, some cards out here. So, uh, what impact, effect is pile number two? But it's a huge opportunity for them to learn and grow at the same time, you know. Um, I know it might be quite painful for you, um, but for them, this is a massive opportunity. I'm not sure how much of an opportunity is for you to learn and grow, because I feel like you're way beyond them anyway, if you know what I mean. Uh, but for them, this could be a huge opportunity for them to learn and grow on a soul level, really. Um... Let's see what else have we got here coffee cup Mel meeting and talking savoring the moment feeling elevated building friendship okay Let's see what else we've got we've got three here or four I don't know why I've got four but it's quite a lot isn't it but let's have a look and see so we've got um, sword and rose exactly it's sort of like Mm, clarity and truth, revelations, honour and protection. That's the second time we've got the word protection. 
determination. I feel like they are the sword and you are the rose in this situation. Like they are the ones that could could harm in some way as well as protect. Um, and the rose is you, which is soft and you know loving and caring. Um, there's sort of like opposites there, really opposites in energy. Ascending. Learning and expansion, transcending, preparing for union, new phase, okay? Then we've got date, get back out there, meeting someone new, setting a date, date online. And then we have girl with a snake, charmed or used, enable boundaries. Now again, we've got boundaries here. So I feel like it might be that, you know, this is either coming to separation, this pile, um... You know, and I feel like this person might be wanting to get back into the connection, but you know, it's there's there's a there's a sort of um you know a potential for danger in it for you, and it might be time for you to think of maybe getting out there with somebody new, pile number two, or you know, giving other people the chance or the opportunity rather than this particular uh, person. Um, because they, I feel like with this person, they may be resenting that, you know, that we, we, we can learn from this or I can offer stability, we can ascend, we can grow, we can do all of that. Let's go out on a date or let's meet or whatever. But I just don't think they'd be able to sustain it. I just don't feel that they've got the energy to sustain that. But anyway, power number two, that's been your reading. I hope you've liked it. If you have, please do consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell, giving me a thumbs up and leaving a comment. I, I really love it all. <laughs> but otherwise, have a great day and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye for now. Hey, pile number three and welcome back to your reading. It's lovely to have you here. Thank you for coming for another pick a card reading. And today we're doing, aren't we, you know, um, how or what effect or impact are you having on your person today? You know, how are you affecting their thoughts, their thoughts, their feelings, their energy? Um, and what do they want to do about that or what are they hoping to do with that? So you have come into this particular depiction of the lovers, which is the supernatural um, tarot deck, Join the Hunt. I think it's called Supernatural Join the Hunt. Uh, and also the Unikite here. Or the, yeah, Unikite stone. Okay, so let's put that so we can see it. Um... I haven't pre-shoveled any oracle cards, so let's get straight to that. I just want to remind you, as I do, that you know that it is a general reading, so you know not all the messages are going to resonate exactly. Uh, if they do, then fantastic, and I hope that they do with most of you. But if the odd one, your person, the messages don't resonate or they don't fit, never force it. Um, and if the whole reading's off, then it might be another pile, or it might be another reading because I've got absolutely tons of those on my channel and I've even got it organized into playlists for you so you might want to check those out as well so um and it's also timeless that's so good whenever you find it but everyone I hope everyone is doing really well I hope you're all okay um I hope you've got better weather than I have here in London which is wet it's been raining all day <laughs> not unusual for in the UK but anyway so let's ask um what is so what we're going to do first of all is we're going to just check out you know the impact that you're having the effect you're having on your person today and uh, then we're going to ask them you know what, what, what we're going to ask us what do they want to do about that or what are they hoping to do with that so let's see so what impact what effect is power number three having on their person how are they affecting their feelings their thoughts their energy what have we got here what impact what's no let's see let's see i've got this one coming out for me let's see what this one is so we have watermelon oh, fertility so that's about growth isn't it really oh, fertility abundance growth expansion mm. okay let's get let's, let's, let's get one more out or oh, one of these out i should say so how what effect are they having on part number what's part number three the effect that part number three is having on their person right now what is their impact on their person's thoughts, feelings, energy? Let's have a look, see what we've got. We have got Pluto. Okay, so we've got Pluto and we have got fertility. Hmm, this looks quite cold, doesn't it? All these icicles here. All right, okay, let me just... 
um, get out one of these cards. What impact? What impact is or effect is power number three having on their person today? What impact, please? Uh, let's have a look and see. We have challenge. All true soul connections involve challenges that can be overcome together. Okay, sorry, I just had to um, go and do something there. That's why I had to cut the video. Um, okay, so we've got challenge here. So the impact or effect that you're having on them, I feel like there's a little bit of, um, and this has been similar in all of the piles really, there's a little bit of a, um, a kind of like a cold effect, but also a warm effect. So like you, I mean, this is, I mean, watermelon is obviously the fruit of, um, you know, the summer, isn't it really? Um, you know, it's reminding me of sunshine, of warmth, but Pluto is a really cold, cold planet. It also governs Scorpio, which is the planet, you know, is often a sign of sort of secrets and depths, uh, and sort of change, transformation, that kind of thing. And we've got the word challenge here. So I feel like you might be, the impact on you're having on them is to create both warm and uh, cold feelings, like a sort of um, a, it's like a dichotomy of energy, really, that you're having having on them in some way and the situation might be you might be quite challenging for them in in, in some in some way um but let's get some tarot out here there might be some confusion for them where you're concerned so let's get out some of these cards so what impact what impact effect is pile number three having on their person their thoughts on their feelings um, so they might they might feel like there's a, a opportunity for expansion and growth with you, but there might be some challenges to that, or you there might be some coldness in that, or they might be thinking that you're blocking that, or there might be some blocks to it, to to that growth really. So what impact or effect is power number three you know having on their person today? What impact or effect they're having on their person today? So we've got the two of cups, beautiful. We've got the Page of Wands. We've got them all. The Seven of Swords. Yeah. We've got the King of Wands. We've got the Magician. And we've got the Moon. Mm, exactly. So, and the overarching energy is the Queen of Pentacles. So, I mean, again, there's this sort of like... So, with the Seven of Swords and the Moon... Okay, so there's an element, you know, you, there's, there could be an element of a mystery to you. So the impact you're having on them is that you are mysterious, that you are also, um, you know, they're not sure about how you feel. So there might be some confusion around how you're feeling or about, you know, not being sure about how you're feeling because maybe you're keeping your feelings to yourself with the moon card here and the seven of swords. There may be some trust issues with you. So they may not fully trust you uh, or trust the situation. Or the situation may be hidden or secret or um, in the shadows somehow with the Seven of Swords here. Uh, but you definitely, with the Two of Cups here and the Magicians so of the Two of Cups, I mean, obviously they feel um, like you and them have got a strong bond or a st strong connection. So there, there's, a, there's a, you know, the impact or effect you're having on them is that they enjoy your company, that they like being with you, that they want to grow something with you. And that would go with the watermelon here. That the situation is growing, expanding, it's fertile, you've got a strong friendship. Um, the page of wands tells me that they want to start a new beginning with you. It could be this could be somebody that you're looking back on, somebody from your past. Maybe there was a separation uh, between you, or there's some obstacles. Maybe there are some obstacles or something in the way of this connection, of you and them connecting somehow. That might be why you've got a challenge as well. So they're seeing you as a bit of a challenge or they're seeing the situation. Your impact is that you're, you know, you're a bit of a challenge. The situation is a bit of a challenge. Um, there are things in the way of the connection. But with the King of Wands here, they want to conquer it. They want to master it because obviously we have this kind of what looks like a Roman, uh, it looks like a Roman emperor, doesn't it? Trying to conquer these, all these lands and he's trying to tell his cat, look, we're going to conquer here, we're going to conquer there. So I feel like this person wants to conquer whatever issues or challenges or um, 
problems there might be in it or anything that might be hidden or um, tricky in the situation because the seven of swords is a little bit of a trickster type energy so it could be that they want to try and conquer or master that the magician is manifest they are wanting to manifest something with you but it could be a hidden situation it could be a secret situation it could be a situation that's confusing or not clear for them so you could also be the impact is that the situation is making them feel unclear unsure one minute might making them feel really um you know uh, like there's a lot of warmth between the two of you and the next minute it might be feeling they might be feeling cold towards you and maybe because they don't trust it or they don't trust you for some reason um or there's not enough they don't know enough about the situation um but the overarching energy is the queen of pentacles which tells me that your impact is that they want to overall with the queen of pentacles here grow it i mean the queen of pentacles is a very fertile energy she's a little bit like the empress she's fertile she is um gorgeous she looks after herself there's a lot of abundance so with the, the watermelon and fertility and the queen of pentacles this person definitely on the whole wants to grow the situation the impact you're having on them overall is to grow it is to go with the warmth is to go with the is to master it is to manifest it but there is an element of confusion and it could be secrecy or it could be um it could be as well that you make them want to do the unexpected uh do something out of the ordinary uh, they could feel a strong pull towards you with the moon here there's a strong pull a bit like the moon governs the tides the tides go backwards and forwards uh, there's a strong it could be a cyclical situation as well it's going backwards and forwards in cycles um but overall i think this person is wanting to shift it towards a warmer connection it is a little bit cold at the moment or is it confused or challenged at the moment they want to shift it uh, but there may be some trust issues that need to be overcome certainly here with the moon and the seven of swords um you know there could have been some somebody might have behaved in a way that was distrustful or not trustworthy maybe they think you don't trust them um you know that they have to somehow master that or overcome that or you know uh use all their resources to get you to trust them again because we've also got scorpio here and like i say scorpio is often the sign associated with deep depth but also secrets things that are very secret and hidden so there could be a lot of secrecy about this connection or secrecy within the connection or um, things that are deep but are not out in the open somehow. So maybe it's a crush situation that's not been revealed. Um, it's in the shadows where there's a sort of an energy there between you but it hasn't quite been declared. Maybe your friends, uh, maybe you're asking about a friend really and uh, the effect that you're having on them is that they want a bit more than that. <laughs> they want a bit more than a friendship here. But they may be keeping that hidden from you. Or they may be feeling that they have to keep that hidden from you. But they really want to somehow. Because there are challenges. There are definitely challenges into the way into you two coming together. And there's something that they need to master or to manifest. So at the moment it could be, you know, a bit icy, a bit cold or a bit distant. But they want to warm it up. They want to make it grow again or they want to make it grow uh, in some way. Uh, but anyway, in terms of um, zodiac signs, we've got Cancer. We have got all of the fire signs with the Page of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and the King of Wands, uh, which is um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Uh, then we have um, Pisces, and we have Taurus energy. So let's see. So that's kind of the impact you're having on them. The effect you're having on them is to is to feel that there's an issue around trust, uh, either for you or for them um that there are obstacles in the way of this connection but there are obstacles that they they want to overcome because i think they believe that you and them have a really strong connection or you could potentially have a really strong connection based on a really firm friendship uh that builds into something really something special um but it might be causing them a bit of confusion you might be causing them a bit of confusion or a lack of clarity or but you're definitely somebody that tracks them big time with the Queen of Pentacles here. Somebody who's very abundant, very uh, warm, um, very caring, very nurturing. Somebody that they really want to be with. 
But anyway, let's get, so now what do they want to do? What, what they, do they hope to do? Uh, what do they hope to do? What do they want to do about this connection? So let us get out. What do they hope to do? What do they want to do? Just part number three's person hope to do. What do they want to do with this connection? What do they hope to do? What do they want to do with this connection? So we have adorn the temple. Okay, adorn the temple. Mm. And let's have one of these. Let's have one of these ones. What do they hope to do? What do they want to do? What do they hope to do? What do they want to do with this connection? We have abracadabra. Okay. And then I'm going to have one of these cards as well. What do they want to do? What do they hope to do? What do they want to do? What do they hope to do? Have that one. Get more information. Okay. Let's have some tarot here. Mm. Maybe they feel like they need more enlightenment with all the stars here. So they need, yeah, that like they need more information. Um, because there's a lot of confusion here. So maybe they feel in order to move the situation forward, they need a bit more information. Um, adorn means um, decorate, doesn't it? Adorn the temple, decorate the temple. This is such a beautiful image here, isn't it? I feel like they're really struck by how you look. I feel like they really desire you. Um, definitely, let's put that there. Let's see what else we've got. What do they want to do? What do they hope to do? Page of Cups. What do they want to do? What do they hope to do? Okay, we have the Fool. Okay. We have the Tower. What do they want to do? What do they hope to do? We have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Swords, and then we have the Sun. Right, okay, and what have we got at the bottom? The Empress, yeah, I mean, you look again, see the Empress, and I think I said the Queen of Pentacles is like the Empress, it's about growth and expansion. This person definitely wants to grow, to cultivate, to nurture this, this situation, 100%. They want to have love in the situation, with the Empress here, there's that growth. And they might feel that like there needs to be a little bit of magic here with the Abracadabra. Um, but with the Empress, with the Queen of Pentacles, they, they definitely feel that you look really, really good to them. You are somebody that is really, really attractive to them. That you, um, you kind of really shine on that level. And they are hoping, and with the Page of Cups, it's like an offer in the fall. So they definitely want... This could be somebody that is in, this is like a crush situation or something that's in the shadows or something secret about it. But they want to have this new beginning with you. Look at this little heart on this page of cups. This chest is so lovely. So they definitely, definitely feel a lot of love for you and they want a new beginning. But it might be a bit of a risk. There may be a bit of a risk attached to it for them because you've got the tower right next to it. And it comes under the Seven of Swords, which is often, again, a card of doing something unexpected. So I feel like this person is wanting to do something maybe out of the blue that you're not expecting. Um, that is just so um, going to be earth shattering, really. You just wouldn't expect it. But they want to do something. So when And that is this new beginning or have this new beginning or create this new beginning with you. And it could be that they, um, you know, that they are feeling a little bit, um, up in the air at the moment about it, they're maybe having some doubts, or maybe they have to choose between two things, or maybe they're having to juggle at the moment, or maybe it means one thing has to drop in order to, to go for something else, it could be that, um, and they're having to strategize that at the moment, so they're making a choice, and maybe that choice is going to bring something else down, it's going to bring chaos, um, but it's going to bring clarity, and that is what they want with the Queen of Swords here. It's going to bring clarity and truth into the situation where there's been confusion before. And with the Sun card here, I mean, this they want happiness. They want to be happy. The Sun is probably the happiest card, if not the happiest card in the deck. It's the most positive. 
So they definitely, what they want and what they're hoping for is positivity with you, is a positive outcome where the situation will grow, it will develop, it will be fertile, you will be able to expand it, you'll be able to, to, to grow it, to develop it, to um, nurture it, to be loving, but it might involve um, some chaos within that and there might be, have to be some chaos, something else might have to fall in order for us this situation to rise and that might be tricky uh, but they want they're going to they're going to they're willing to do that if for the sake of truth for the sake of honesty for the sake of integrity and honor um and they want something yeah so they need a little bit of magic in this situation um but yeah they definitely want the end of the confusion or the end of being in the shadows or the end of things being cold or challenging um it could be this is striking me as something that's secret this situation is secret or it's not out in the open or it's a crush situation or maybe it's a third party situation and this person is ready really to um to do something which is gonna um bring them to, to bring them with you or to be with you really uh they're ready they're willing to face up you know, because the tower can be about a realisation. They want, you know, they've realised that they, something needs to fall, something needs to be dropped in order to catch something else. You can't keep two things in the, you know, you can't keep two things in the air. Something's got to drop, really. Something like that. Um, and that's what they want to do. They want to ultimately have happiness with you. You've got the two of cups starting the reading and you've got the sun ending it, which is... But it might be where they get more information that they still a bit of preparation work that they need to do. There's still some um, things that they need to plan out before they take that step. And that might be where you've got the two of cups that they're sort of trying to, you know, juggle those things. And that might be where you've got the queen of swords because the queen of swords is about, look, she's at her desk looking at papers with all these books in the background. So maybe they need some more information to be able to manifest the connection in some way or they need a bit more time to manifest the situation. You've got the moon and you've got the sun, haven't you, really, which is feminine energy and masculine energy. So balance, ultimately, they want balance with you and them, really, that you feel that they feel that you and them kind of balance each other out. So we've got here um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We've got Capricorn. We've got uh, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. We've got Leo. We've got Taurus. So those are some of the astrological signs I'm seeing. Let's get some charms. Okay, what impact, what effect is pile number three having on their person? What do they want to do about it? Let's have some charms. I'm going to all those. All those. What are these? So we have, we have the bat. Yeah, the bat. At the moment, there might not, you know, there might be not a clear way forward at the moment. I'm going to put that on the moon, you know, because the bats don't see, do they? They have to navigate through the night using sound. Then we have mermaid. Now, that's reminding me of a little bit of magic. Mermaids, you know, they're not real creatures, are they? They're kind of make-believe, but that sort of magical... Um, it's also reminding me of, you know... Uh, somehow sirens, you know, like where you're being called. So maybe they feel like they're you're calling them or there's a call between the two of you in some way. Uh, yeah, a pull, if you like, goes with the moon as well. Okay, so let's get out some other of these cards. Let's see what message cards we've got for pile number three in this. What impact or effect are they having on their person um, today? And also, you know, what's that person want to do with that impact? We have separation, sadness, bitterness, missing you, thinking about you, an uncertain future. So yeah, it might be that some of you are in separation with the seven of swords here. So maybe some, some somebody's done something um, not very not right and has brought the situation into a cold situation, into a challenging situation. It's confusing, and this person is feeling sad, or you're feeling sad and bitterness, but there's also regret and um, you know a sense of loss. An uncertainty. What else have we got? Wedding rings, union, marriage, soul connection, everlasting love and devotion. My goodness, that's the complete opposite energy, isn't it? And then picture, looking at pictures, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. So yeah, maybe this person in separation has come to a realisation 
of how much you mean to them and that they want to commit. They want to have this uh, positive situation with you, that they want to grow the situation again. Um, or this situation is sort of like a hidden situation or it's not able to come out into the open. Um, and there's a marriage in this situation. It could be that there is a marriage in this situation um, somewhere as well. Yeah, but I definitely feel this person, whatever stage they're in or whatever situation they're in, that they want, because it ends on the sun, and you've got the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles, which is that this person wants, these are all cards of growth. The Queen of Pentacles, the Empress, it's cards of growth and abundance and warmth. So I definitely feel this person wants warmth, growth and abundance with you. But anyway, part number three, that's been your reading. I hope you've liked it. If you have, please do consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Uh, give me a thumbs up and also leave in a comment. Otherwise, have a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye for now. Thank you.